Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, MLU Prasad. Uh, myself, MLU Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in the LeetCode platform. And, and all the code solutions for the questions which are available in my lead code platform are there in my github repository for all the 230 questions i have kept the solutions the link for that is available in the chat description pinned comment okay in addition to that i have also created a video playlist consisting of easy medium hard depending upon the difficulty of the question all the premium questions of lead code which are paid and also all premium non premium and all difficulty level questions are uh, segregated into one single playlist called all sql they consist of all the 230 videos and i ordered with the sequence number of ids which are there in the lead code platform let's see the question which we are trying to solve today the question which we are trying to solve today is question number 0607 salesperson okay they have given a salesperson table consisting of sale id name salary commission okay and company also company id name city okay order also they have given order id something okay what they want okay they are joined using some uh, order id here com id there and also sales id here okay now what they want write an sql query to report the names of salesperson who did not have orders related to the company with the name red okay let's see uh, return the table in any order let's see the salesperson table i think this is the mega table now oh, let's take this salesperson this is the orders table and this is the company table well, let's take it remove it let's take the output also they want only names such that they, are, they don't have any connection with the company red okay now you can see that this salesperson table is connected to orders table using sales id right and orders table is connected to company table using company id okay okay let's see the connection between each of them now see how the salesperson is connected to this table using sales id 451 okay john is connected to which one john one is connected to this table using one his company id is one okay red okay john is connected to red table okay now second row amy is there amy too amy doesn't have any sales here so amy doesn't have any connection amy doesn't have any connection mark is there mark three he is okay three is also down there mark also doesn't have any connection okay let's see for pam pam is sales id four okay there are four connections in order table. what is four of three three is yellow okay pam has connections with yellow table and he has one more order here pam one okay pam has also connections with red table okay and fifth one lx lx5 is there lx5 has company company as four four is green okay Alex green okay now if you see these three rows 
these three names doesn't have any connection with red he has connection with yellow and red so this is satisfied john is connection with red okay now what are the rows which are not matching amy uh, mark and alex that is why these three rows are returned now what we need to do is we need to join these three tables and we need to select only sales id where company id equal to or company id equal to one then we will get only for that or company name equal to red both are same after that we will be filtering from this salesperson's table where the rows are not matching okay for example what are the sales ids which are getting for this one four yeah one four if you remove one for this from this table you will get this two three five rows right let's try it first first let's find the rows which are having red from orders a inner join sales person as it is a inner join the order doesn't matter because it will return only matching things if it is left join the order matters salesperson d on a dot sales id equal to b dot sales id we need to combine with one more table company c with what company id is the common with the table let's see b dot how it is with the orders table a dot com id equal to what is the company came c dot com id now we've connected everything now what we want where uh, table name should be red or com id should be one both are same where c dot name equal to red from that what we want uh, we want the sales ids okay now we got the sales ids who are red now what we want we want the sales ids which are not this sales ids so i will keep simply select sales id from salesperson table from salesperson table where the sales id should not be this sales id so i will keep where sales id not in i will keep this as subquery and i will paste it here it is better so this will return all the sales ids where it is red okay if you remove this sales id where it is red we will get the not red sales ids that is what we have done here let's run it uh what is the sales id okay let's call it sp sp dot Mm. What the sales ID only? Let's say you want a dot sales ID. Yeah. Uh, which table we need? Okay, sales person B. So it should be B dot. Okay, let's see what is the error. Okay, we don't want sales ID, we want what a sales name. Okay, from this table we want name. Name. What is that name they have given? Okay, name only. We can return any order. Okay, doesn't matter. Okay, got accepted. Let's submit it. Yes, all the test cases are successfully submitted and they are satisfied. 
Thanks for watching my video. If you want more detailed explanations like this, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your study partner, classmates or friends who are preparing for the data analyst or the data scientist interview. Just be disciplined, complete all the 2030 videos which are there in the playlist of my channel. Achieve your dream job as fast as possible. Just don't give up. Keep hustling, keep growing, keep learning and keep getting better every day for 1%. Best wishes to all of you. Thank you very much for watching my video.